Gathering in the Avalonian Roads can easily become one of the most confusing and hard to understand topics here in Albion Online. In this video, I'm going to walk you guys through all the information as well as tips and tricks you need to know to get started with gathering in the Avalonian Roads. So I am wearing a one-handed spear set with my stag, which is a nice hybrid gathering mount. It has a nice speed and gallop time, two seconds with a 251 kilogram max load. As well as I have my tools, I am not wearing a gathering set. And the reason I say this is because when you are in the Avalonian Roads, this is a black zone, as well as there are mobs in there that could be one sorted or double sorted. And this setup I use, and I've also used a setup with the mercenary jacket I will use to take down these mobs. It's a lot harder in a gathering setup. You could wear full gathering gear and bring a set to switch out with but you would have to risk a little bit more silver when doing that, but it is completely a way that you can go about it. Now, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the gathering nodes. Now, there are gathering nodes inside of the Avalonian Roads. When you go inside on the map, there will be symbols on the map that show you what type of gathering node, whether it's stone, fiber, skinning, wood, or ore. I'm gonna go in there here in a bit and you're gonna see what I'm talking about if you haven't been in the roads before. The thing with these nodes is they spawn in two tiers. So for example, you can find nodes that are tier four and tier five so if it's a skinning node it could have tier four and tier five mobs and it could have tier four tier five like ore or stone all of the nodes are mixed resources they have two types of resources on them so if you go to a fiber node you have a chance to find fiber and wood there if you go to a stone node you can find stone and wood there's also wolves and different types of skinning animals that you can find at every node sometimes and some of the larger ones and on the outside and the nodes come in two sizes they are large nodes and small nodes now the tiers on these nodes are are locked and the tiers that can happen with these is you can run into a tier four five you can run into a tier five six you can run into a tier six seven and you can run into a tier seven eight node now the tier of the road that you are going to be going in does not matter for the nodes that are inside you can go into a tier four road and run into a node that is a tier seven tier eight resources on it or you can run into a node that has lower resources on it if you run into higher tier roads tier six seven eight you're gonna have a higher chance of finding higher tier gathering nodes on top of this if you ever find the same road again and you notice the name like you may you might have it memorized or you notice that it's the same road as before every single node and every road is locked in so if you ever enter the same avalonian road every node in there will have the same tier as you saw it last time everything in the roads is locked in place all of the tiers nothing's going to be spawning at different tiers reset doesn't come out and a four or five turns into a seven eight tier gathering spot it's all the same now there's one other special feature that a lot of you gatherers are going to love to use when running the roads and it is the suffixes of the names of the roads so when you are inside of a road and we can mouse over one of these you can see that there is a dash in the name so it's hinos dash oe elos i mean i probably botched it but that that's the name of this one the os os at the end of both of these means that this is a green chest zone there's going to be most likely be more green solo small group chests in there now there is five suffixes that you guys are going to want to know as a gatherer and it's lum am or um tum sum and rom now the lum is large ore nodes that means that there is going to be a large ore node inside of this portal that you're going in for am there's going to be lar a large wood node for tum large skinning node for some, a large fiber node. And for ROM, you're gonna find a large stone node in there. Now you can find one or two, but if you do see these suffixes on the name, you will be finding at least one of those large gathering nodes in there. So it's always good to look out for these suffixes if you are looking for a particular resource if you are skinning or you are doing fiber when you're running through the roads and you open up your map inside of the road we're about to go in this one right here which is a sum zone so when we go in there we're going to see a large fiber node i'm going to show you guys right now at the end of the last word you see sum that is the suffix that we are talking about those last three letters on the very end of the avalonian road name uh, none of these have something at the end of their name except this one has an os os when you have os os that is most likely going to be a green chest zone or you're going to find green chests in there so if you are looking to do some pve and clearing green chests you want to look for those but for this just for gathering this is a sum zone that we're going to hop in and we're going to go check it out right now so i'm going to grab my stag and we're going to run in okay jumping into a sum zone all right as you can see here there is a large fiber 
So we knew for sure that there was going to be a large fiber in here based on that suffix that we talked about. So there is nodes in here. We have wood, we have ore, and we have fiber. Now I'm not 100% sure on the tier of the road because I just came in. But there is going to be another thing that you guys want to keep in mind, and that is these wilderness routes. This area in here is considered to be the wilderness. And then these are the actual Avalonian road that has the boosters on it. Inside of this wilderness, there's going to be resource mobs in there. So we're going to run in right now, and I'm going to show you guys what resource mobs are in there. So let's go down. We're going to... I'll just cut off right here. No, actually, we'll, we'll cut up here. We'll take it right up here towards the fiber node. So if we run in like this, we go down, and we're going to look for some resource mobs that usually spawn inside of the wilderness while we're running towards the fiber node. Okay, so we have a titanium elemental. So this is going to be a tier 5 road. So the, the thing with these tiers is if you're in a tier 4 road, you're going to find tier 4 resource mobs in the wilderness areas. If you're in a tier 5 road, you're going to find tier 5 resource mobs in the wilderness. All right, in any of these areas, you can find skinning, ore, fiber, stone. You can find different types of mobs in here, as well as wood. You can find all of them in the wilderness, depending on the road that you're on. When it comes to a tier 6 road, so like here we have some tier 5 small mist cougars. If you're in a tier 6 road, tier 6, 7, and 8, all three of these, you're going to find tier 6 resource mobs in the wilderness. You will not find tier 7 or tier 8 resource mobs in the wilderness. The max is tier 6. So if you enter a road from the outside and you see that there's tier 6 mobs in the inside and you're not 100% sure on the tier of the zone, if you go in the wilderness and you see that there is tier 6 mobs, you are either on a tier 6, a tier 7, or a tier 8 Avalonian road. Anything below that, you're going to know what tier you're on. Like these, this is going to be a tier 5 Avalonian road. If you see tier 4 mobs, it's going to be a tier 4 Avalonian road. Now we're going to want to... I'm actually going to kill these Miss Cougars real quick because they do have a chance to drop a pup for us. We always do like to get some cubs. And then we can also skin them. We're going to roll down to this fiber node so I can show you guys how the tiers spawn. Again, you can wear a full gathering set out here. You just have to play it a little bit more safe, have a mobility weapon with you, like a double-bladed staff, a blood letter, some gloves, anything that has good mobility. Or you can run a set like this, or you, again, you can switch it up and carry them both. So as you can see here, we have some tier 6 trees, and we have some tier 5 trees. So this is going to be a tier 5-6 gathering node. And you can see how there's fiber in here, as well as wood. So there's two types of resources in this node. Now we're going to run over to the fiber node. And we did see some tier 6 resources in, the, in there, even though we are on a tier 5 road. So again, the, res the, the tier of the resource nodes doesn't matter compared to the road. It can be anything. You can find a tier 7, tier 8, and a tier 4 road. It's just probably not going to be as likely, but it happens. It it doesn't matter. It's it's locked into the node. It's not about the zone. So it's always worth kind of checking all the nodes as you are running through the zone as a gather. So there was nothing up top. We do have some wolf skeletons here. So this is a fiber. So we do see some tier 6 fiber in here. Okay. We have a one sorted tier 6 aspect. Okay. We do have a gather here. See, he's wearing a full gathering set, skinning with a dagger. Okay, so he might have something to switch out with, or that's to kill. Okay, and then we have some tier 5 fiber here. So this is going to be another tier 5, tier 6. And this one is a fiber node. Uh, I think the other resource, it must be skinning. Because I'm not seeing anything else on this one. No trees or anything or any rocks. So it looks like the wolves and stuff on the outside. It probably is just a fiber with some light skinning. But it also has an aspect that spawned here. Alright, we're gonna go check out this skinning node. I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, here we are at the skinning node. As you can see in here, we have some tier 4 skinning animals. We have some boars that are tier 4. And then we have some tier 5 skinning animals. As well as some tier 5 ore. 
and some tier 4 ores. So this one appears to be a tier 4 or 5 skinning ore node. Even though it is predominantly skinning, its secondary is ore. And every single... Every single gathering node is going to spawn in the same way. It's going to have its primary symbol, and it's going to have a secondary in it. And this is essentially it. This is all you really need to know for gathering when it comes to the naming of the zones. So you just have to pay attention to the name of the portal you're going to be going through. So you might see something that is a for sure gathering spot that you're going to want to be looking for. But other than that, it's up to you if you want to wear gathering gear or a regular fighting set. And we are going to make our way back to the city, and then we will wrap up the rest of this. That's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned all of the things that you're going to need to get started with gathering in the Roads of Avalon. We went over the different type of gathering nodes and how the tiers work, as well as the resources. There's large and small nodes. We have the suffixes, which is a really great tool. If you study the names of the roads and you are running through, you can quick check them without actually having to run over the portal, as well as the tiers of the mobs in the wilderness and that everything in the roads when it comes to these nodes and different locations are locked in place. Place. So if you ever find the same road again, it will be the same tier as you found it last time. If I ever find the road that we just ran in, we will be finding the 5, 6, and the 4, or 5 gathering nodes again. But if you do have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video, and I'll see all of you in Albion Online.